Hi, I'm Susan Anderson, and you've come to the right place for sewing, quilting, and crafting fun. Today's video is how to set up your artistic digital cutter. We're going to set up the cutter itself, connect it to the computer, and calibrate it. And that's where we'll start. What you get right out of the box. Of course, you get the digital cutter, you get a manual, and you get a box of accessories. In the box of accessories, we're going to have things that we're going to need in order to create all the wonderful things we can cut with our digital cutter. One thing we're going to have is a set of pens for calibrating, a collection of three different blades, red, yellow, and blue, a USB cable to connect the cutter directly to your computer, Gotta have a power cord. Can't go anywhere without a power cord. A blade holder. It's inside the tube here. Some Allen wrenches to do all your adjustments. And this came apart. But last but not least, the pen holder to do the calibration. When you get the cutter out of the box, find a nice sturdy table to set it on. You're also gonna get two mats. We have a green mat that you're going to use for working with um, staple products such as cork or cardstock or vinyl, just to name a few. Then you have a purple mat that you're going to be working with uh, unstable products. It's more, it's stickier than the green one, and that's why. The purple mat will allow you to do fabrics and uh, things that are that are just squeak that squiggle too much that you need to stabilize a little bit more okay so that's what you get out of the box the machine itself we open up the cover we're going to have two styrofoam inserts this is to protect the carriage from moving and protect the this kill switch which is the red buttons on either side of the carriage so you want to remove those and get rid of those you have, under the carriage itself, there are two small black little spacers. You want to remove these. These are not permanent. They need to be put away. Okay. And that's how you're going to basically open up your carriage. On the side of the carriage, if I turn it on, because I do have mine plugged in, you'll see the carriage actually moves to the side and sets over onto the kill switch. You have two blue levers, one on the left and one on the right. Those actually open your carriage just like a typewriter carriage would lift and close. You're going to leave those open in order to load your mat. Now to calibrate your machine, the first thing I want you to do before we actually go to the software is I want you to take the pen holder, the black pen holder, and one of the pens and we're going to place the pen holder inside, excuse me, place the pen inside the pen holder and attach the cap back on. Then after you do that, you're going to drop this into the carriage. Now this becomes important. When you take it into the carriage, you're going to drop it down. It's going to let rest on a small shelf that is right here. You want it to just be at that height and then tighten the screw so that it won't move and you're set now we're ready to install the software and get started with calibration and then you're going to load your mat through the front of the machine like this now what I like to do to make sure that my mat is perfectly aligned is I'm going to go ahead and see the spacing between this green and this green. I'm going to follow that dark edge to the groove that's in my machine. So I want to make sure that that's perfectly aligned that way. And then I'm going to close my blue levers on each side.
Then open your software to a screen similar to this. And what we're going to do with this is basically select Create New and click down at the bottom, Next. You're going to come to a screen of techniques to select from. The green dot is the indicator, meaning that this is the tool or technique that I've selected to do. For calibration, that's the only thing we need. We don't need any of these others because we're just going to calibrate the carriage movement and machine directly to our computer. So just have the green dot selected. If you have more than that selected, that's fine, but all we really need is just the cut. Then I'm going to drop down here to where it says Create New Design. Once you've opened your Artistic Simple Cut software, this is the screen that you will be seeing. It's actually a representation of the mat that is available that you've put into your cutter. So you can, you can align the design according to how you want to directly on your mat and you get the full visual. The first thing we're going to do is create a shape. So I'm going to go over here to the left hand toolbar and create an ellipse. If you have a square there, that's fine. The tools are work pretty much the same. After doing a left click to select it, I've slid over to my mat. I'm going to hold my left mouse button down and drag to the bottom right corner and I'm going to get my shape. I'm now going to go back up here to the top, which is a square, but it is a select icon. And it brings a box around my design and shows me that I actually have a shape there. I'm going to go over here to view and I'm going to select toolbars and I want to turn on my object properties on the far right hand side and we can already see that it's turned it into a cut. Remember that was the only option we had. We weren't going to be drawing with a pen. It was just going to be a cut option. So here we have just the um, the scissors to cut. I can now go back to file and we are going to export to cutters. The default cutter is the artistic edge. We're going to click on the connect. You should hear the carriage move off of the stops. Those are the red buttons on either side of the inside of your carriage. Those are your stop or kill buttons. On the left hand side of my cut screen I have the color that is selected that is my cut. On the right hand side it shows me a representation of what is going to be cut with that particular color. We'll learn more about this in upcoming videos including the pink dot. We'll talk about that later too. But for right now all we're interested in is in the calibrate. So I'm going to go down here and click calibrate. And this it says just basically walking you through the idea that we are going to calibrate, you're going to click Next. You're going to be using the icons here to move your carriage as opposed to the buttons on the side of your, car of your, side of your actual unit. And you click Next. You're going to be using your Control, your Shift, and Control-Shift combination to move that red dot, your laser pointer, if you would, directly over the perfect center of the marks made by your pen. Now, here's a tip. As it moves to the very center, all of a sudden that light will pop. It'll come become extra bright. So you want to be able to watch that while you are actually moving your carriage. Because when it goes over the line for the pen, it'll be dark, 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 and then bing, it'll pop right in the center. That's how you know you're directly into the center. Once you have done that, you're going to click Finish, and now my cutter has been calibrated. It's that simple. You should calibrate your machine every time you move it. Whether you take it to class, calibrate it when you get to class. You bring it home again, calibrate it then. It makes a difference because the machine has to be level and that's part of this. Remember, it's only wrong if it doesn't work.